This is ContactTalkRadio.com. Consciousness in action. And you are taking action into your consciousness by tuning into Contact Talk Radio. And on TuneIn.com, Ying.fm, and Upsnap Mobile. Contact Talk Radio. Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Hey, everybody. I'm Sarah Wiseman. Welcome to Spiritual Psychic. We're working on some more of this channeling, breaking it into little pieces, um, offering some ideas that may be of use to you, hopefully, or spark different ideas that will be of use to you. Anytime we're out there seeking and asking the universe, something's going to happen, right? So we can go with um, faith and courage and enjoyment and curiosity as to like what this wandering in the mystery is going to going to bring so here's this channeling it is if you are able to offer generosity to each other stepping back from clamor of mind ego personality this is where your own learning will expand the fastest If you are able to offer generosity to each other, stepping back from clamor of mind, ego, personality, this is where your own learning will expand the fastest. And I want to focus on this word generosity because generosity does not mean fixing or generosity does not mean the grand gesture that even perhaps anyone notices like look at me i'm gonna give all this money to charity or look at me i'm gonna come in and really really help this situation that's one kind of generosity and i i would think there's a lot of people with a lot of like high level resources doing a lot of good in the world so it's not to discount these this taking responsibility of these resources that maybe one person has one person has way more resources than another and they decide i'm going to be a philanthropist or i'm going to have these foundations or i'm going to start this but not everybody has that level of um financial or other resources not everybody has that right so what is this idea of generosity to others is it always about giving stuff like if you can't have a foundation does that mean you're not being generous if you can't be a philanthropist you're just working on your own survival i think it's this idea of being generous in nature stepping back from the clamor of mind ego personality so instead of worrying about the grand gesture or how much money you're giving to something or how much resources or even how much time and effort especially for those of us out there who tend to want to be fixers or we have this codependent like i will help you i will help you and you you will be grateful it's like no a generous nature is stepping back from mind ego personality which is about allowing the other person to be exactly as they are exactly where they are and kind of having this almost like a sense of humor about it like wow this person's so different this person is so messed up this person needs so much help and so do I, and so do you. And so I'm going to just be in open awareness to this person and offer what seems to be needed at the time. And 
again, this stepping back from trying to fix or stepping back from feeling that you know the way or stepping back from having a moral injunction, this is the way we should do it. We, you know, we've all heard these stories of like in you say Hawaii, the missionaries came and and wanting to fix it all, right? And you know, ruined it all. They were trying to be generous with what they had come to know and believe. If this is a story of many, many, many indigenous peoples, this is like this one group comes in, we know the way, we will either for control or for generosity, because we have this moral imperative, we're going to come in and, you know, make make you run things how we run things. We're helping you. We're modernizing you. Instead, you just like, just step back and like, people have different views. People are doing different things. Nobody has to be in charge. Nobody's one view does not have to prevail, stepping back from clamor of mind, ego, personality. Maybe on a note that's closer to home for a lot of us, um, you know, say you're a person who has kids and you have this really defined way that you want to raise them. You want to raise them probably different than how you were raised, which you were raised the best way your parents knew how to do. And then you want to raise your kids and then you want them to like succeed, whatever that is, like, what is that? What is that? And you kind of want to help them and you want to help them avoid the pain that you had to go through. This is, this is ego wanting to be in charge of somebody else's experience. It's ego wanting to be in charge of someone else's experience. So you step back from the clamor of your own mind, ego, personality, and you, and you, um, you just let the person, you generously let the person have their experience. You don't have to interfere. And in this channeling, this is where your own learning will expand the fastest by holding back, observing, witnessing, Witnessing with sense of humor, witnessing with concern. I, I don't know how you're going to witness. It depends on the situation, but this idea of not trying to run in uh, and fix it all based on your understanding of the situation. Stepping back from mind, ego, personality. So something to think about today. Maybe it'll apply for you. Maybe it won't. Uh, the universe is going to reach you whether it's through this or something else. So uh, just be open to what happens for you today. Thanks for listening.